I'm Nicola Cairncross. Hi, hello. Hey, hi. I'm going to talk to you about success. Yes. Okay, so I thought I'd just give you a walkabout of the house because suddenly the weather's just turned. It's gone from being unbelievably cold to the point where I've got a vest, two t-shirts, a dress thing, and I would normally put a couple of cardigans on and a scarf, perhaps. I decided to uh, hang the washing outside today and it's just incredible out there, so I thought I'd give you a look. So let's go and have a look. So this is out um, of my bedroom window. It's a little sort of covered patio thing, which you really need because in the summer it's unbelievably fierce here. And this is like a privacy screen and it's got fairy lights on it so this bedroom which is Sarah's room gets a bit of privacy from um, from the next door neighbor's garden which is very nice and there's the famous wood pile and here's all the garden furniture it's all covered in bougainvillea which will have to be brushed off at some point and here's my washing I'm just hanging up so let's just finish oh and here's the other garden furniture which usually lives around the corner so let's just hang my washing up and then I'll um, I'll show you a bit more of the garden So, I'm going to show you around the garden, okay? This could be really cool. So, washing, just to orientate you. And then there's like a hose pipe, and it goes up to the tap where you can water the garden from there and this is like a outside shower. So in the summer, Phoebe used to take full advantage of that. She would lie in the sun and get really hot and then she would um, shower and cool down again. There's some mental plants in this garden. That's one of them. God knows what that is. There's the obligatory olive tree and then there's this tree which we're not absolutely sure what it is. We think it's a lemon tree because it's got lemons on it but it's also got light bulbs on it which is a little bit strange light bulbs lemons and then here we've got a spirally spindly staircase which i'm not massively fond of to be fair which goes up to the balcony because it's an upside down house most greek houses are so they keep the cool air down and then this is the sort of the back garden area which gets the sun full on from sort of lunchtime onwards and that's where the furniture usually sits. And then there's a nice little bit there, another lemon tree. And as you can see, the view from the garden is pretty spectacular. And then upstairs, there's some beautiful windows. And all the houses here are made with um, stone. They're all cut from stone, so they all look quite old, even though they're new. Right, what else can I show you? Let's go this way. Oh, no, no, it's not actually. It's too, too narrow that way, I don't like it. So let's go up the spindly staircase, which gives you an even better view of the view. Here's our balcony, which you probably recognise the views from there. Okay, so this comes into the living room. You might recognise some of these views too. And then there's the front door. There's my little office. And then there's Sarah. So this is out the front door. And so this is sort of, I think of it as our back view, but it's actually our front door. So that's what we see when we come in and out the front door. And then um, next door neighbours, we've only got three really. That's what our little road looks like. Down the end there on that last house on the left, there's a dog called Zach. And he's always, he's a guard dog, so he's pretty guardy. And he's very friendly, he wags his tail, but we don't want to get too close to him, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's our locality. And what a lovely day it is, I'm out here in a t-shirt.
So I've come out into the garden to talk to you today about perfectionism because we've just released the first issue of the e-zine and I'm not a young, good-looking 30-something person who is travelling around the world, who's having a lovely time and who looks gorgeous all the time. And so one could argue who would want to watch a video about someone who's living in one place, albeit a different country, and who is not perfect, in fact who wears a lot of the same colours all the time, i.e. black, and who is not young and exciting and gorgeous. But I think I've got a lot to share, so I've decided I've got to get over myself, as I've said in one of my other videos, and I've decided that I need to just not care about any of that stuff, not care about what my hair looks like. In fact, today I'm pretty convinced that I didn't wash the conditioner out of it. You know how you get that feeling, girls, when you're drying your hair? You just think, mm, a little bit tacky. So I've decided I'm not going to worry about my hair, I'm not going to worry about whether I've got any makeup on, I'm not going to worry about whether I'm, I feel overweight today, well, like every day, to be honest, and I'm going to not worry too much about whether the background's perfect. Obviously, I have tried to get you a nice sunlit tree here, and a little bit of lemon tree in the background so it's quite nice not perfect but quite nice I wanted to just get it out there I wanted to get started I knew we could start with episode one and we could improve as we go Phoebe's learning all the time she's learning new tricks with the editing she's learning new layovers and, and all sorts of things and the more I can supply to her the more choice she's got of what to use so I've just got to churn out the content so many people worry so much about being professional what other people think about them having everything perfect you know not having the washing up in the background that they just never get started and the thing is that I've actually been prevaricating about doing this bit of to camera talking for the v-zine since lunchtime because I didn't want to do it in the kitchen because there was washing up in the background and I couldn't be asked to put it away <laughs> I didn't want to you know I'd, and then someone called and then there was whooshing to do with the app and so basically I was prevaricating because I didn't know I don't really enjoy doing this it gets easier as you do it but I don't massively enjoy it everyone calls me a narcissist but I'm not that bad I just had to push through it I just had to think the sun is going down it could be nice in parts of the garden let's go and find a different location and let's just get it done because if I don't get it done Phoebe can't get episode two of the e-zine out and that's not fair on her and I find that's a really helpful way of pushing through procrastination actually is to make yourself accountable to someone else if I don't make the content she can't make the e-zine she doesn't make the e-zine the e-zine doesn't go out and that's my fault down to me nobody else so I think it's really important now having released episode one which is keen to go on episode two because we know there's things we couldn't we could do better so you know let's give her, let's give her a chance and it, she can't have that chance to make things better unless I do my bit so here I am in the garden talking about perfectionism and not being a perfectionist and about how important it is to just get the content out there not to worry about whether people like you not to worry about whether people are going to criticize you you know people the only people who've got the right to criticize are the people who are doing something better themselves so if you're not doing anything better than me I don't actually give a what you think of me because unless you're doing something better and more creative and and you know in which case I'll learn from you you know if you're doing something better and more creative and more exciting I'll be will be watching you to learn from you like Dan Knowlton because he's always doing something really cool so I think the people the only people the haters the only people who've got the right to hate are the people who are doing better but what you'll find is the people who are doing better than you will not hate on what you're doing because they'll want to encourage you because people will have encouraged them you know they would have had to get over their own perfectionism their own procrastination their own fear of being criticized or not liked so that's pretty much the thing the people who are going to criticize you you don't care about them anyway because they're not doing anything exciting the people who you look up to and aspire to be uh, the Casey Nysats the Gary V's the, the Dan Knowlton's the Matt Duggan's those are the people I'm looking at those are the people who I care about what they think and they're not I know none of them are going to say anything horrid I know that they're only going to come back with suggestions for how to make this v-zine better more professional more funny you know better location whatever they're going to come back with constructive criticism and I'm always open to that so if you know that you could talk to a camera and that you could potentially get Facebook live videos out and if you could potentially create a v-zine whatever niche you're in you know you could be an electrician you could be a plumber you could be a dentist you could be just someone who, who just goes about and you know sweeps the streets for heaven's sake you could become the first YouTube street sweeper to become famous because you're a cool person and you know you document your days and you share people um, you share cool houses or interesting places in the town you live just don't not get started because you're afraid of what people are gonna say about you the people who care will support you and the people you care about will support you and everybody else can just go take a flying over the lemon tree <laughs> Hi, 
coming to you today from behind the breakfast bar. Now, why anyone would think to install limo lights on a breakfast bar, I don't know. But it's pretty cool, I think. I really like it. This bit's all about what's on the blog and what's on the podcast. And I have taken steps to ensure that I recall this week what's on the blog and what's on the podcast, i.e. I'm looking at it on my own phone. So um, episode 114 of the podcast is making and keeping New Year's resolutions two weeks in. So you've had a couple of weeks to make your resolutions and see and you know get on with them and keep them. And we're talking about whether we made any, how we're finding keeping them. Um, and we discover lots of tools to help you keep your resolutions. And and I believe in um, Thomas Lennon's maxim. He was the great founder of coaching. And he says you should always create supportive environments to help you uh, do the, be the best you can and do the best you can. So I'm a big believer in that. Make it easy for yourself. So that's episode 114. And this week, by, by the time you see this, um, out next will be 115, which is on Friday. They come out on Fridays, our podcasts, at ownitthepodcast.com. And this week's is all about how to find that marvellous unicorn, the uh, one the VA. Um, essentially, I won't spoil the punchline by telling you our conclusions, but we give you lots of help, helpful tips on how to find a VA, how to train them, how to chunk the tasks down, how to find someone to coordinate it all for you, and where to go to get the best, not necessarily the most inexpensive VAs. Okay, so that's on the podcast. Okay, so on the blog this week at nicolacairncross.com forward slash blog, you will find the first v-zine, which I'm extremely excited about, and um, it's called No Money, No Excuse. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am about this. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be working with Phoebe. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am that we've got the first episode out because the first one's the hardest. You know, you have to get your format right. You have to get your little bits right. You have to make sure that she's not overstepping the mark with the humor. I did give her carte blanche to be fair. Um, what else is on the blog this week? Okay, business partnerships. How much to give away? Should you even go into partnership with anyone else? Why are you doing it? Is it an ulterior motive to try and abdicate rather than delegate responsibility to someone else, eh? Um, so we go into that quite a a lot we talk about how the, how the different um, partnerships can be structured, whether it's um, performance based, whether it's uh, in, you know people putting equity in, or whether it's um, and, and also how to uh, ensure that you can get out again if it doesn't work. So that's one of the things on the blog, and also there's a personal blog post there from Swagger and Soul about how I was feeling around sort of just before Christmas when I started to realize what I really wanted to do with the rest of my life. So my VA Patricia brings occasional personal posts over as well, and then obviously I've got a little link to the last podcast episode which was thinking models and how to think we've got a lot of good reaction from this one they're not taught to think at school in fact they prefer it if you don't they prefer it if you just learn stuff and become a nice little employee but what we've done here is share all the best ways on how to think and then obviously there's a press release about my app I've already had some results from that the local paper the evening Argus business section are doing feature on me which is really pretty cool thanks evening Argus and that's it on the blog this week so uh, look forward to seeing you on the next Zine. I'm getting some comments on the first one underneath on YouTube so depending on where you're watching this if you're on the blog you can click the comments link if you're on YouTube you can put the comments underneath and people are already saying that my lack of fear about doing this and I'm going to tell you it's not a lack of fear it's just getting over the fear it has inspired them to have a go as well so that's what I'm here for that's what I'm really living for right now is you telling me that what I'm doing in some way is inspiring you to do it too see you next week Okay, how do we do this? Ready for the great unboxing? Ready? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, it's all nice and symmetrical now. We're at an absolutely right angle. recording lit up plants that's quite nice isn't it so I'm walking up the road now put it away put it away put it away okay <clears throat> you could be an outtrusted trick really
I just turned it on. And that, as they say, is a wrap.